Hey guys, Terrence Steele here, filmmaker from Atlanta, Georgia, and thank you for joining me again for part three of my series, Guerrilla Filmmaking, A Producer's Guide. Now I'm dressed casual today because today in part three, we're going to be talking about production, all right? And when it comes to film production, once you get into the production stage of actually filming, you're going to have to roll your sleeves up, all right, and get ready to work because it is a lot of work when it comes to production. Today I'm going to talk about seven things you want to think about when you're in the production phase and you're actually filming. All right. One of the first things you want to think about is the schedule, of course. Now you, at this point, you're already going to have your schedule kind of figured out, but you want to kind of go through it, fine tune the schedule, make sure you check in with everybody and making sure they're going to be available on these dates and whatnot. And so you want to fine tune the schedule at this point. Uh, another thing that I think is very important at this point is you want to solidify the other members of the crew. All right. Now at this point, you're going to have your main people. You're going to have your videographer and your camera people and your other producers. You're already going to have them in play, but you want to think about the makeup artists who you want to get to do makeup. All right. And you want to make sure you get a good makeup artist. You don't want somebody making you look like, you know, Bozo the clown in front of the camera or something like that. Uh, it, depending on the scale of the project, uh, costumes, costume designers and things like that. So you want to start thinking about that stuff and getting those people squared away so that they can be ready to, to come to set when it's time to shoot. All right. So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, when it comes to makeup, I think makeup's pretty important. Sometimes yeah, we can, especially when you're doing an independent film, we can take makeup for granted, but uh, you want to just keep in mind that people like to look good on camera. All right. Especially women. All right. And you want to make sure that the ladies look good. All right. As men, we can look ugly and all crusty. That's fine. But the women make sure they look good with the makeup. All right. Uh, next thing you want to think about uh, in the production phase. The third thing that I like to think about is very important is the equipment. All right. What are you shooting on? All right. Are you shooting on digital or are you shooting film? Of course, you would have already thought about this beforehand, but you want to get more in the detail um, with the equipment. What type of lights do you, are you going to have? Are you going to have access to these lights and the microphone? You want to think about the sound, what type of sound quality you're going to have. Depending on the type of film you're shooting, if you're shooting a documentary, you can use, of course, a lavalier mic like I have on here today. If you're shooting a narrative, of course, you want to have a boom mic. Okay, so that's very important. The next thing you want to think about, number four, during this time period while you're actually shooting is your locations. And you want to solidify those locations, make sure they're good to go, make sure you're on the same page with the business owner or wherever you're shooting. And also another thing when it comes to locations, if you're doing an independent film shoot, I like to keep as few locations as possible, all right? The fewer, the better, because, you know, you don't want to have people moving around too much, and, you know, if it's an independent film shoot, you can only afford so much, and you got to remember, the more times you got to change locations in a day, then the more tired people are going to get, all right? And the less inspired your actors are going to get. So I like to keep locations down to a minimum and when it comes to independent filmmaking, all right? Next thing you want to think about during this time period is safety. When you're filming, safety is very important. You don't want anybody to get hurt doing a production, especially if it's a union film. Uh, a lot of times people will tell you you want to get insurance when you're filming. Of course, when you're doing guerrilla filmmaking, you can't always afford to, to get insurance, but if you can afford to, you want to make sure you get insurance. That way, if anybody gets hurt, moving equipment or something like that, then you know, you're covered. Also, if it's a big show, if it's a union show, or even if it's a non-union show, you can always get a set medic. So you can have a medic on set. That way they can handle different things if something pops off or whatever. Uh, so that's something to think about. Safety, guys. You don't want to get hurt shooting a movie. You know, who does that? Number six, food. You want to think about food, all right? People are working. They're moving around. The lights is hot. They get hungry. So food is very, very important when it comes to filming. You want to make sure you have the food there. If it's a union show, 
you know, food's no problem in a union show. They've got crafty, they've got, you know, catering, they've got food trucks, they got everything. But if it's an independent film, like we're talking about, guerrilla filmmaking, we can't afford all that. But what you can afford is to have a little table with snacks. That'd be your crafty. People can eat that throughout the day. And then, of course, you can have a meal in the beginning before you start filming. Uh, maybe something like, maybe, you know, some bacon and eggs and toast or something like that. And then you probably want to have something later on in the day for the cast and crew. Maybe pizza or something. You know, you can be creative, but food's important. Don't forget that. Nobody wants to starve on a movie set. Seventh thing you want to think about while you're filming during the production phase is timeliness. All right, timeliness. You want to try to shoot as fast as possible. Now this is to say you want to shoot fast but you don't want to rush it. Of course you want it to look good so you don't want to mess up the quality. But you do want to bear in mind that if it's a low budget movie and let's say you're not necessarily paying your actors and actresses, you want to try to get through it as fast as you can. You don't want to waste too much time. Uh, you, want to, you don't want to waste anybody's time. That way you, you know, they can get on about their day. All right. So these are just some things I want you to think about during the production phase. That's all I have for you today, guys. Thanks for joining me. If you like content like this, you want to see more, please hit that like button below, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. All right. Happy filmmaking. Get out of here. Go make movies. Become famous, please, guys.